Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Cancers this month. And this is a February reading for 2018. We are going to be working with the Archangels this month. I know many of you maybe would have expected a romance reading, but that's not what I was guided to do. So the Archangels are really wanting to come in and they do do energy work on you while we are watching, right? While you're watching these videos. So making sure that you're drinking lots of water is really important just to allow that energy to flow through. And um, we are going to be doing a theme for the month. I'll be getting a little bit more guidance um, with our regular deck and then the Archangel deck. We don't have a feng shui tip for you today. We are doing, what I'm doing now is I'm doing those on Feng Shui Friday. So every Friday you get a tip. So you actually get four every month instead of just one. So it's better for you. But every Friday you're going to get a quick Feng Shui tip. And I am working on making these quicker. This month was not so quick because it was about the Chinese New Year. So I wanted to give a little bit more guidance and information about what is ahead for you this year. So that is something definitely to take a look at. And I will put a link to that below. So let's go ahead and get started. Your theme for the month is Six of Earth. The Earth cards are all about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here on Earth. I always feel like this is a little bit of a balance card. Uh, there's the energy of receiving gifts, of receiving, you know, getting loans paid off. Um, gifts of money, of time, any of that type of thing. So there's some balance coming into play there. Um, there's also some new career opportunities. So it's like, um, let's not put all of our eggs in one basket. Like, let's look and see what else is available because there may be another job, another career opportunity that's really, really good for you. And you don't want to be like blind to that, right? So open up to that. That is going to be your theme for the month. Let's see what else is coming through. So we've got Queen of Fire coming in. The fire cards are all about passion and action. This Queen of Fire is stirring things up. So this is really um, kind of pushing you out of the nest, right? It's time to stretch your wings and fly. That's the energy of this card. Like, let's stretch our wings and fly. The big message for you in this is don't underestimate yourself, okay? You got this. You really can do this. So make sure that you are, you know, this would be a great, great time to be taking some risks and um, asserting your independence, your creativity, your, um, you know, really bringing your own brand of special sauce, right? Like that's what this is about. Let's bring your own brand of special sauce and spread your wings and let's soar. So that's going to be beautiful energy for the month of February. So then, looking at the nine of earth, of course, nine I always read as, um, as positive because in feng shui it's about reaching new heights, and this is a positive card for you. So the nine of earth is all about like enjoying the little beautiful things in life, okay? This also bodes really well for some, some, uh, for self employment. I wanted to say successful, and I was trying to put successful and self together. But it really does bode well for self-employment, that that can be successful for you. And um, it's also kind of that nudge to go within, to spend some time by yourself, particularly in nature, is going to be really beneficial for you this month. Okay? And then we've got Six of Air coming in. So this is kind of coming out of the forest type of card. Things are looking up. Things are getting better. Um, you've had some difficulties, but now that is behind you. And this would be a beautiful month to take some sort of trip. Whether that's a driving trip, a weekend getaway, or flying somewhere, does not matter. But this would be a beautiful energy and time for you to do that. And maybe even with your honey, right? If you have a honey, 
that would be a good time to plan a little Valentine's Month trip. Let's see what else we've got going for you guys. hilarious so this card I saw it when I was flipping I'm like I think that's for them but I just kept shuffling and here it is Archangel Jophiel um, so Archangel Jophiel this is the clear your space Archangel Jophiel is our angel of beauty um, she loves to make things beautiful inside and out and this is a very very clear sign that you need to do that so and this is talking about within your home clearing the clutter number one Clearing energetically, so space clearing is going to be really important. Smudging, as it may be called. Um, it, I use white sage incense, and that's what I use to clear spaces. So you can use that. You can use bells. Um, I have a video on the Feng Shui Friday about space clearing, so I will put a link to that below. And, um, and then the other piece of this is Feng Shui. So the other part of this is applying feng shui. So it's really would be a great time, a great opportunity to do some sort of feng shui consultation or even read some books and put in place the remedies for the new year because we are coming into a new energy and things are shifting. Every year we have these stars that fly, flying stars. I don't talk about this a lot because it's very confusing, but that is a service that I offer to my clients. So if it's something that you're interested in, I'm offering $50 off this month with the coupon code FLYING2018, and there'll be a link to that below as well. But just, uh, you know, it's these things do have an impact on us and the type of year that we're going to have, and there's things that you can do to remedy it, right? And that really, it's essentially just about balancing the energy in your space, which is really going to support you and the things that you want. So we also have Archangel Gabrielle coming in, and this is all about nurturing. And nurturing yourself, nurturing others, really taking good, good care. So remember that in the month of February, that self-care needs to be a priority. I know for myself, I just scheduled a massage. I haven't had one since I got back. Um, from the holidays, so it's been quite a while. I, I feel pretty good, but I'm feeling like I need that, right? Um, so nurture yourself. Do those things that nurture you. And then we have Archangel Michael coming in and reminding you, remember who you are. Remember that you are a child of God, right? Remember that you are completely loved and supported. This is all just amazing, beautiful energy of support for you this month. Love it. Have an amazing month. Um, stay tuned. Um, I would love your feedback. That's one thing I, I'm just going to ask quickly for at the end here is your feedback. So I'm trying to decide if I should continue doing what I'm doing now, which is the daily angel insight, the monthly zodiac readings, and feng shui Friday. So I'm doing like three different things. Um, or if I should switch it up and do weekly zodiac readings. And that would mean that I wouldn't do the daily, and then of course I wouldn't do the monthly, I'd already be doing that. So um, let me know what you think about that. If you'd like weekly Zodiac readings, um, along with the Feng Shui Friday. So the weekly Zodiac would probably come out either on Monday or Tuesday. And then the Feng Shui Friday, of course, is going to be on Fridays. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Make, uh, you know, put a comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback around that. Um, and then, of course, subscribe to the channel. Got to do that to keep seeing all the juicy goodness. And share. I, I would love for you to share um, me with others. So I'm on Instagram, Finding Your Fiji. I'm on Facebook, Finding Your Fiji. I'm on Twitter, although I don't do a ton on there. I'm on LinkedIn, all kinds of um, places. So find me, follow me, um, you know, share me. It's kind of what I would like you to do. And if you haven't grabbed your free gift yet, um, make sure that you do that. There's a link right on the um, bottom right so when you look at the channel on the bottom right corner of the channel art is a link to get your free it, it says right on there free gift so go ahead and grab your free gift and that is my nine fast feng shui fixes to attract abundance so make sure you're grabbing that and we'll see you next time much love